Well, I've done most of the work to route the fuel lines through the fuselage. Starting up here at the firewall, I've got these bulkhead fittings, uh, one for the supply, one for the return side. And we go on to the other side of the firewall, we've got the other side of the fittings and the start of the tubes that run over to the center channel, over to the fuel selector valve. The fuel selector valve is now securely mounted onto this upright with this bracket I created. And then you can see the extension bar that runs from the valve up to the selector uh, lever on the dash, right where it should be. Feeding the valve are two sets of tubes that uh, come up from below the t in the tunnel. Uh, one for the left side, one for the right side. So they come down, there's a little bracket here with some hose clamps that keep everything in place. Pipes run down the center tunnel, over to the wing spar, and then under these gussets, you notice I wrap the tubes with some foam just to keep it from shaking around and making any uh, noise when it's in flight. Tubes come underneath and behind the joystick block, and then out here to the wing connections, uh, where I will worry about how to connect it to the wing much later on when it's time to attach the wings. Overall, I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out, uh, but it was definitely a lot of work to figure out all this routing, make these tubes, put the flare fittings on the end. Uh, definitely more difficult to do than running the rubber hoses, but I think it's worth the effort.